Thanks for checking in today and for listening today for our daily devotion. My question for you is how many of you like roller coasters? How many of you like and have a thrill-seeking adventure for roller coasters? Now, for me, I'm not quite a thrill-seeker, but I do enjoy roller coasters. I've been to Six Flags in Chicago. I've done Cedar Point in Ohio, Kings Island, uh, and Valley Fair here in Minnesota. So I love a good roller coaster ride. Now, some of you don't. You don't like the ups and the downs and how it feels inside of you. But as I think over the last several months, I feel we're on a roller coaster ride. We have ups and then we have downs. And then sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow. But when we think about those ups and downs in lives, we kind of get frustrated. There are good days and bad days. And I'm reminded of the life of David. David's life was a roller coaster. He was up and down. He was fighting animals. He was doing different things. There was always challenges. And whenever David was presented with a challenge, a struggle, he found encouragement. He found ways to praise God each and every time. And when I think about our lives right now, I want you to be thinking about celebrating the small things. And this, and I get it from a Bible passage here in Psalm 118, verse 24. And this is what it says. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, today is the day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. But you're like, Andy, how can we rejoice? How can we rejoice when things are being canceled or when people are dying or I don't have a job, I can't see my family. How can we rejoice over those type of situations? And at times it's hard to find something to rejoice about because we are so concerned about the big celebrations that we don't think about celebrating that the sun came out or that it rained or that I was able to get a phone call from someone who I haven't heard from in a while. So as you go today and as you think for the rest of the week, be thinking of ways that you can rejoice and be glad in it because there's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to be thankful that God loves each and every one of you, that he forgives you when you do wrong. And those are things that we're able to celebrate and rejoice. And so as you continue on this roller coaster ride of your life that has ups and downs, may you be reminded of David's life, that in his ups and downs and more or less in his downs, he found ways to praise God. And may you today take time to take notes, jot down those things that are praiseworthy, because we want you to rejoice and be glad, because today's the day. Have a good day, guys.